What's up guys, welcome to my channel, it's King Sunny here, today I'll be teaching you guys right stick switching. So first first things first, in order to learn the right stick switching, we have to go into a kickoff game, connect two controllers, if you don't have one, it's fine, you can put the difficulty to beginner, set the half length to 20 minutes. Now I will teach you guys how can you practice the right stick switching. Give the ball to the AI or to the other player which you are not controlling, now pay attention on the left hand side of your screen. Now look, I want to switch to Ronaldo, all I have to do is to flick the right stick in this direction. Okay, let's just say I want to switch to Quadro, to my left back Alexander. All I have to do is to switch the right stick upwards, right? So, over there you can see. Now, if I want to select anyone on the pitch, all I have to do is just flick the right stick in that direction. I want to select Ronaldo, just do this. I want to select Dybala, just do this. It's that easy. You just keep doing it until you get it right. You see? I want to switch to my review, I do that, you know, I want to switch to Ramsey, I do that. So it's very easy, man. It's very easy to learn right stick switching. All you have to do is do this. I know it's boring. Just play a song and just keep on doing this till you get it right, till you get it down on your muscle memory. Now, in th this way, your mus your technical play will be good. Your mechanical play will be good. You will be able to right stick switch to any player you want to after you have done this drill for 20 to 30 minutes. You have my word on this guys now i will show you an in-game example that how you implement right stick switching in your game once you have learned how to do it so let's go in this clip i will teach you everything you need to know regarding right stick switching without taking much of your time we know short tutorials to the point you know let's go so here we lose the ball stupid pass now look the we are on the transition now look he plays the ball into Dembele. Now look at my switch. I am thinking to myself that he may pass into Firmino. That's how you need to think one step ahead and which most people do. The, he's playing a 4-3-1. He's gonna go into his camp into the striker. As you can see Mane is making that run. Just pay attention on the screen. So I switch to Blanc and I cut out that passing lane. Okay that passing lane is done. I switch back. I flick the right stick down and I switch to my attacker that is Rashford. Now I see his Dembele is making a run. So when you, whenever you see someone make a run, you switch like this. As you see, okay, I, if I flick the right stick in this direction, you can see on the left hand side of the screen, my switch will go to Cancelo and I'll be able to track this run. It's necessary to track these runs, guys. You see that I completely shut out that run. And now I switch to Conte. Now I do an offside trap. Just pay attention how we will keep the shape of our defense using right stick switching it's all about keeping the shape of the defense i'm playing a four triple two so i need to keep the shape of my defense it's it's an old clip i still play four one two one two wide by the way so yeah now look i switch to cancelo back to fernandez and i am trying to cover the pass into fermino then I switch to Conte, another offside trap. It's all right stick switching. I'm not using the L1 switches. If you use L1, your defense, you will commit to your defense, pull them out of the position and create unnecessary gaps. Now I switch back to Conte. Just look, I will eventually win the ball back. Now, after Conte, I switch to Blanc. Why? Because he's likely to make that pass inside to Firmino. And eventually, we get the ball back. But we are unlucky. But we'll end up getting the ball back over here. Just... Composure, it's all about composure and switching. Look, and then I switch the right stick back to Cancelo so I can cover his pass. I need, you guys will have to watch this video over and over again. I keep on switching between my players and eventually I'll get the ball back. You see, this guy, he was so like lucky, but the way we kept our composure, we were able to defend him. So this is... This is the art of using right stick switching. You need to make sure, you need to know three things. Keep your players in their position, cover the right passing lanes and apply pressure. But you won't be able to do any of these three if you don't know the right stick switching. Right stick switching is by far the biggest skill gap in FIFA. So watch this video again on how to practice it, how to master it and how to implement into the game. And until next time, I'll catch you guys. Make sure to subscribe. We are very close to 200 subscribers and make sure to like the video as it supports our community. Thank you for watching the video. See ya.